Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can install Ubuntu operating system on VMware Workstation on Windows 10. So that's been said, let's get started. First of all, we have to download VMware Workstation and our Ubuntu ISO file. For that, just open your browser. So these are the two files we need to download. One is VMware Workstation and another one is Ubuntu ISO file. Let me tell you that VMware Workstation is a virtual machine. So with the help of this software, you can install multiple operating system in a single operating system. Say for example, you are using Windows 10 computer and you want to use other operating system inside your Windows 10 computer, then you can use VMware Workstation to do so. So we are going to use VMware Workstation to install our Ubuntu operating system. Now to download, simply click on this link. Don't worry about the download link. You will get the download link in the description box. So this is the official website from where you can download VMware Workstation. But here we don't have any download button. Here we have buy online option. If you scroll down, here you will find try Workstation 16 Pro. Here simply click on this download link. This will redirect you to the download page. Here simply select your operating system. So we are going to download it for Windows. Simply click on this download option. And here you can see it is downloading. It is around 621 MB. So it will take some time to download. Wait until the download process complete. While it's downloading, let me show you how you can download Ubuntu ISO file. For that, simply search for Ubuntu and open the link from ubuntu.com. Don't worry about the download link. You will get the link in the description box. Here simply click on this download option. And here simply select Ubuntu desktop. And here we have our download page. Ubuntu 20.0.4.2.0 LTS and here we have some system recommendation you must have 2 GHz of dual core processor 4 GB of RAM and 25 GB of free hard disk if you want to use Ubuntu beta version then also you have a option to try Ubuntu beta version so here you have Ubuntu 21.04 if you want to use this Ubuntu beta version iOS file then also you can download this one but I will suggest you to go with the stable version. Now to download, simply click on this download button. If your download doesn't start automatically, then here you have a link to download the ISO file. Simply click on this download link. And here you can see it is downloading. I had already downloaded the ISO file of Ubuntu. So I'm just going to cancel this. Now we have to install VMware Workstation. For that, simply open this .exe file let me minimize the browser here we have vmware workstation setup simply click on next and here simply accept the license agreement then click on next and here we have the default location where vmware workstation is going to install if you have a good reason to change this location then you can change by clicking on this change button for now i'm just going to keep it default then click on next and here also click on next and if you want to create a desktop menu shortcut or start menu folder then you can check this box then click on next and finally here click on install here you can see it is installing so let me complete the installation process we had successfully installed vmware workstation let me click on finish so here we have our vmware workstation plus launch icon or you can even search here vmware so here we have the application so this is the interface of application. Now let me show you how you can configure your VMware workstation for Ubuntu. For that, simply click on create a new virtual machine and here select topical, then click on next. Here you have to select your operating system installation. So here select, I will install the operating system later, then click on next. And here select your operating system. We are going to install Linux operating system and here select the version that is Ubuntu 64 bit version then click on next and here you have to name your virtual machine let me name it as Linux then click on next and you have to specify some disk size let me specify 100 GB of disk size and select split virtual disk into multiple files then click on next so this is the default configuration of your virtual machine. If you want to customize this configuration, then simply click on customize hardware. And from here you can configure your RAM, processor and other stuff. Let me tell you that if you are using 8 GB of RAM on your system, then you have to allocate at least 50% of that RAM to your virtual machine. 
So I'm using 16 GB of RAM. So I will allocate 8 GB to my virtual machine. And here select your processor. I'm using 8 core processor. So I'll allocate 50% of that processor to this virtual machine. That is 4. This is our RAM value. This is our processor core. This is our hard disk space we had allocated to our virtual machine. Now we have to select the ISO file. To select our ISO file, simply click on this CD slash DVD icon. Then here click on use ISO file. Then click this browse button and select your ISO file. So this is my ISO file. Then click on open. So here we have our ISO file. Now click on OK. We had configured our virtual machine. Now let me run this virtual machine. To run this virtual machine, simply click on power this virtual machine. If you get any error, just ignore that error. Here we have our installation option. So let me maximize the window of VMware Workstation virtual machine. Here select your language, then click on install Ubuntu. And here you have to select your keyboard layout, then click on continue. And here simply select normal installation and install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats. Then click on continue. And here you have to select your installation type. Simply select erase dix and install Ubuntu. Don't worry, it will not going to delete any of your files because we are installing Ubuntu operating system in VMware Workstation virtual machine. So it will not going to affect any data present in your Windows 10 operating system. Now click on install. And here click on continue. And here select your location, then click on continue. Now set up your username and password. And here configure your password. And here we have two options, login automatically or require my password to login. So I will select this option, then click on continue. Here you can see Ubuntu operating system is installing on our VMware workstation virtual machine. So it will take some time to install, wait until the installation process complete. Here you can see installation process is completed. Now simply click on restart now. And here press enter key, select your username and enter your password. If you want to log in with your online account, then you can log in. But for now, I'm just going to skip these steps. As you can see, here we have resolution problem. Now to fix this resolution problem, you have to change your display resolution. For that, simply click on this show application icon. And here search for settings. Here we have our settings. Just open your settings. And scroll down you will find display option. Select display and from the resolution option, select your required display. Then click on apply. And here click on keep changes. This way you can fix your resolution. Now if you want to use Ubuntu operating system in full screen, then here simply click on this icon. Enter full screen mode. And now here you can use Ubuntu in full screen. So this way you can install Ubuntu operating system in VMware workstation on Windows 10. So that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.